All right, we're gonna do kind of an unboxing first impressions walkthrough of the Enchanted Map Oracle cards. It's a 54 card deck and guidebook by Colette Baron reed um, And I'm pretty sure this is supposed to kind of go with her book, The Map. I don't know, I don't have that book. Um, but I got this from Hay House. They had a little special on decks. So, oh, let me open this. Oh my God, this one's kind of hard to open. Oh my good grief. Okay, whew, got it open. <laughs> um, I do like how Hay House has always the hard covered boxes um, for their decks because I personally like to store my cards in the boxes that they come in as long as they're, you know, sturdy boxes like this. So here we go. I'm going to try to make this video not super long, um, but I do want to show you guys the cards. So here is the guidebook probably just your typical guidebook. So what do we have here? Yeah, how to use the cards, purpose of the cards, how to do a reading, all that good stuff that's normally in guidebooks, and then descriptions <clears throat> of the cards. Excuse me, I'm fighting a cold and I have a sore throat. Um, so you can read the introduction. Usually it's about, you know, why this deck was created. So... All right, so it looks like the cards are numbered, which that always makes it easy to find the card. And, oh, so it has an upright and a reversed meaning. I personally do not read Oracle cards reversed at all, um, but that is kind of nice that they have that in there in case you are somebody who reads reversed Oracle cards. I do read reversed tarot cards, but not Oracle cards. I don't really know why that is, but I just never feel, <clears throat> excuse me, good grief. I'm going to have to take a drink here. So you can just look at that picture. If I knew how to edit, I'd edit this out. <laughs> but alas, I'm not a good editor. All right. So let's go through the cards. Here we have the Bone Collector. This is card number one. This is a pretty cool card. I like this. Oh, I like that, and with the clock and stuff. Ooh, I'm liking this one. Hay House decks are always really iffy for me. It's like I either really like the decks or they just like really do not resonate with me at all and they're kind of cheesy. But this one's actually looking like it might be pretty cool. Um, I've looked up pictures of this one online. This is kind of reminding me of the... Oh, wisdom, wisdom, no. Oh, I have it over on my bookshelf, but this artwork, I wonder if it's the same artist. I don't see who the artist is on the box here, but it almost reminds me of, I can't, it's going to drive me nuts. It's in a red box, comes in a red box. I can't think of what it is. Here we have Gentle Gardener, Wizard of Awareness. Spirit of Place, that's pretty. Goblins, ooh, I'm liking this deck. Ooh, Mountain. All right, this one feels like it's gonna be a good deck. Into the Unknown. Ooh. There's so many, I don't know if it's really picking it up on camera, but there's so many like little details and things, like in the pictures here. Come together, come together over me. Stormfields. Dorothy, Dorothy, we're not in Kansas anymore. Toto, we're not in Kansas. Yeah, I mean, so many little details. Like, there's a little bumblebee with the flower. There's birds here flying in the storm. Ooh, I like it. I feel like this will be a good deck to read intuitively, too, because they're is ooh, rock bottom because there's so many um little little things within the cards i think it'll be a really good deck to read intuitively along with the guidebook balancing act nice slow and steady these are so pretty i'm really gonna have to look to see if this is the same artist that does the <clears throat> that does the art in the other book i was talking about or the deck Solitude. Ride the wave. 
I like, I like. <laughs> That's my dog you hear if you hear her, all that big sniffing. That's my dog. One Ring Circus. Rescue. Ooh, Ghostlands. Norman, quit it. He's so gross. He always does like chomping and it's really like he licks his chops, I guess. Magic Stream. The thing with these keywords, though, I'm noticing is they're not ones that you can like right away have like a personal meaning for, I guess. Um, like they don't necessarily like the words aren't good prompts to make you like immediately think of something. Um, you know, like Dragon's Lair. I mean, I guess, yeah, you could like put some meaning to that with the pictures, but I feel like some of these you would definitely kind of want to look at the guidebook to see what Colette Baron Reed has as the description. Flying Field of Dreams. Oh, this is like that one card. Where'd it go? Bone Collector. Gentle Gardener. So I wonder. Oh, yeah, look, there's a lot more action happening. Oh, and this tree looks like it's more blooming. So I wonder if these kind of go together. Like, you know, garden your field, tend your field, plant your seeds, and then harvest your field of dreams. Hmm. Intention. Beautiful. This has to be the same artist, because these owls are looking familiar. But see, like, Golden Palace, like, that doesn't, at least for me, this doesn't elicit, like, an immediate... I can't think of the words I'm trying to say. Like, um, it's one of the reasons I really love the Oracle of Oddities deck. It has just one word on it, but it, like, at least for me, it elicits so much meaning. Like, I'm, I actually have a card sitting out, and it's the voice card for Oracle of Oddities. And that, paired with the picture, just that one word prompt, like, makes me think of so many different things and ways that you could decipher that. But some of these, like Golden Palace, I don't know, that I feel like that would be a little difficult for me to like intuitively come up with messages stuck in the mud I don't I mean then like that one obviously that's pretty that can make you start thinking of things and metamorphosis Ooh. deep freeze oh wow that's pretty home oh look at the little owl oh my gosh there's so much action happening here <gasps> these cards are pretty you guys and I've noticed something that's continued throughout some of the cards is this clock and the owls. Movement. Coming to life. That's pretty. Making a choice. Dry desert. Magic prayer. Peaks of Joy, Spark, Education, I like the moons, there's a lot of moons in this as well, Commitment, Cleaning House, Little Kitty in the Windowsill, Aww, Heal the Ouch, this card is so damn precious, Oh, oh my god, it's so cute! I love raccoons so freaking much. This is beyond precious. This is definitely an adorable card. Protecting treasure. That's a good one. Follow the Lida. And there's the clock again. Unexpected visitors. This reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. Wide open. Details, details. Strength. Ooh, that's beautiful. That's a gorgeous strength card. Wow, I really like this one. Aw, sad embrace. Aw, this card's really sad. <laughs> it's fitting. Coming apart. Hmm. That could be taken so many different ways, too. Sacred Cool. That's beautiful artwork. Wishing well. T 
talisman, compass. Is that? Oh yeah, it's the zodiac signs. Moonlight. Oh, so pretty. <gasps> That's beautiful. Magical map shifter. Ooh. This reminds me of the magician card in the tarot. Listening. Oh, I love this one. Elephants are awesome too. I love the mix of animals and people. I like that it's not all animals, but it's not all people encouragement oh now this is gonna drive me nuts I have to see if this is the same artist hold on one second wisdom of the Oracle okay oh <laughs> and I didn't even realize that wisdom of the Oracle it's also a Colette Baron Reed um, a Colette Baron Reed deck does she do the artwork too I actually I, I don't know much about Colette Baron Reed so for all I know she could be the art is she also the artist? Hmm. All artwork copyrighted. Dun dun dun. Cover art and card illustrations. Oh, Jenna Della Grotaglia. <laughs> okay, so that's who the artist is. I love it. It's very dreamy. Um, as far as using this deck, I think I'm going to have to use it <laughs> a few times. Um, usually I can tell when I first look at a deck if I think it's going to be one that I'm going to use with client readings or if it's going to be just more of a personal use reading deck. This one I'm not really sure yet. Um, I think this might be one of those that I don't necessarily use all the time for client readings, but it may be one of those that I'll really feel drawn to it for particular readings or particular clients. Um, I can, obviously, it's definitely going to be a personal use deck. I'm excited to see, too, which tarot deck will pair with this. I love pairing my oracle decks with tarot decks. Um, so I'm curious what deck will fit with this one, what tarot deck. Well, there you go. All right, I made it under 15 minutes. Yay! So that is the Enchanted Map Oracle deck for you. Um, let me know, comment below, or give this a video, give this a video, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys like this kind of like first impressions slash walkthrough. Um, or do you prefer that I do walk through videos and show you the cards after I've used it so I can tell you kind of how it reads. Um, let me know. So, all right. Talk to you guys later. Many blessings. Bye.